Hi, everybody. Welcome to story time. I'm so glad you're here. We'll wait a minute just to let everyone get settled and then we'll get started. All right, you ready? Everybody take a seat, take a seat, take a seat. Everybody take a seat on the floor. Not on the ceiling, not on the door. Everybody take a seat on the floor. Excellent, welcome. My name is Allison. I'm the children's librarian at the West Branch Library in Somerville, and I am so happy that you are here for story time today. We are going to read some stories. We are going to sing some songs. We're generally gonna have a good time. Um, I am here on the Somerville Public Library Facebook page every Tuesday at 11 o'clock. So if you're watching, you can let me know in the comments and if there are any books or stories that you particularly want to, books or songs you particularly wanna hear, put that in the comments too and maybe we can get them in next week, okay? Um, I also want to let you know that we will be having a fabulous summer reading program, just like we always do. It'll look a little different this year. Um, it will be mostly online. There'll be some awesome ways to track your reading and do some reading challenges online, um, as well as some programs. So we're really looking forward to it, and I'll share more information about that next week um, as we get closer to the start date, which is June 22nd. Okay, so who's ready? Well, before we can read our stories, what do we have to do? That's right, we have to sing our hello song. Ready? We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With all our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. With all our friends at story time, we stomp and sing hello. We wiggle and sing hello. We wiggle and sing hello. With all our friends at story time, we wiggle and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. With all our friends at story time, we wave and sing hello. All right. Now we are ready to start our stories. Okay, so the first story we're going to read, let me just get it up here on the screen for you, is called Five Flying Penguins. Look at those penguins. One, two, three, four, five. That is five flying penguins. Let's see what happens to them. Five little penguins sitting on the ice. The first one says, today feels very nice. The second one said, snow is in the air. The third one said, but we don't care, right? Because penguins love the snow. The fourth one said, hey, look, here comes a seal. You see it? It's right up here. The fifth one said, he wants us for a meal. Pitter patter went penguin feet as they dove right in. Splash, five flying penguins started to swim, swim, swim. See, they're swimming away from the seal. Flip flap went penguin wings as they flew through the sea. The first one said, come on and follow me. The second one said, we're moving very fast. The third one said, we've lost that seal at last. The fourth one said, it's time to get some air. The fifth one said, wait, look who's over there. Who is it? The seal. Honk, barked the charging seal. He just wouldn't quit. That sneaky, silly seal said, penguins, tag. You're it. So he wasn't trying to eat them. No, not at all. He just wanted to play tag with them. That's a good pic, good book. Nice pictures. I really like that blue color. Okay, so that was a book about five penguins. So now we are going to sing a song about five 
frogs. We're going with that number five. So you might remember we used this last week. My daughter Sophie made it. She's 11. She's just finishing sixth grade and she made this um, felt board for us for story time for five green and speckled frogs. So these are the five green and speckled frogs. They're sitting on a speckled log and they're going to jump into a pool. So if you remember this song, sing along. If you don't remember it, you're going to learn it really quickly. It's pretty repetitive. Okay, you sing along with me. Five green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there were four green speckled frogs. Four green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there were three green speckled frogs. Three green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there were two green speckled frogs. Two green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there was one green speckled frog. One green and speckled frog sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there were no green speckled frogs. The end. Excellent. Excellent song. And thank you to Sophie for making us that nice felt board. Okay. Our next book, let me just share the screen. <laughs> Our next book is called Bully. Let me get back to the beginning. This is a relatively new book. It's just been out maybe a year or so. Let's find the beginning. Oh, and let's move my picture. Okay. Bully lived in a pond full of lilies. So Bully's that frog. He wanted the lilies all to himself. Hey, you, shouted Bully. Oh, hello, said the snail. Have you tasted these lilies? They're delicious. Well, they're delicious and they're mine, said the frog. Not very nice. Ah, oh, what a glorious scent, said a nearby dragonfly. It's just heavenly. Hey, you, get out of my pond. But I was just enjoying these marvelously smelling lilies, said the dragonfly. Their smell is the most marvelous, marvelous and mine, said Bully. Hey, bee, stop touching those flowers. They're mine. But the lilies love it when I tickle them, said the bee. No, croaked Bully. Those delicious, marvelous smelling, tender lilies are mine. Everyone out. And he meant everybody, even the smallest fly. Bully finally had the lilies to himself. He made himself a crown. He ate until his tummy ached. He slept on a new pile of lilies every night. Soon, there was only one lily left. I'll keep this for myself, said Bully to no one. I don't want anyone to smell it or touch it or taste it. It's mine. So he sat on it. The bee flew in. Excuse me, Bully, said the bee, but you're squashing that flower. So what are you going to do about it, said Bully. The bee had an idea. <gasps> Look at all those bees. Then I think they chased the bully away. With Bully gone, the lilies started to come back. Bully moved on to another pond, only this one was just mud. Humph, Bully croaked, all mine. And that's the end of this story. 
So I think that it's good to think in that story about how the other animals wanted to share their space and the space where they lived and Bully, he only wanted to be the only one who lived there. And at the end of the story, the animals who wanted to share are the ones who got to stay. So I think that's the message we're taking from that story. Hmm? What do you think? What do you think about that? And kind of with that message of kindness and sharing and being kind to the other animals in the story or the other people in our lives, I wanted to sing a song that your grownups might know, and you might know this song too, um, about sharing your goodness with other people. Because I know that you are all fabulous, fabulous kids. And I want you to share that goodness and that wonderful spirit that you have um, with everybody in the world. Okay, so this song, and again, your grownups might know this, this song is called This Little Light of Mine. And there's lots of different verses. We're just going to sing the first verse. We'll sing it maybe two times so you can learn it. Okay, it's pretty easy to learn. And it's a really nice song. Ready? This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. And that's the whole first verse. Do you think you can sing it with me? Ready? This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Maybe one more time, right? Because I know that you have so much goodness in you, so much light inside you that you can share with so many other people. Ready, let's do it one more time. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Very nice. And there's other verses to that song, so you can ask your grown-ups to look up the words or they might even know the words to the other verses themselves and you can keep singing that, okay? Awesome. Okay, are you ready for another story? So as you know, we've been reading some longer um, books, longer than picture books, but not as long as a big chapter book at story time. And we're gonna start a new one today. And this is actually from one of the other librarians. This is Karen who works at the Central Branch. This is from her uh, collection. This is called Mouse and Mole. Mouse and Mole Find Feathered Friends, and it's about a mouse and a mole, right, as you can imagine. And this actually has four chapters. Bird books, mole bird and mouse bird, the nest, and some artist, some poet. Those are the four chapters. And we're just going to read one today, and then we'll read the next one next week, and on and on. But this is, I think, a book that you will like. So the first chapter is called Bird Books. Spring was Mole's favorite time of year. Spring was when the birds came back. Mole was simply mad about birds. He opened the door a crack. Whoosh! A gust of wind blew his hat off. Yikes, said Mole. He ran to pick it up. Meanwhile, Mouse peeked behind boxes. Mouse peered inside bags. Aha, Mouse cried. She yanked her backpack off the top shelf. Mouse put a sketch pad in the big pocket. She stuffed crayons into the little pocket. Tap, tap, tap. Mouse heard someone knocking. She opened the door a crack. Whoosh! A gust of wind blew it wide open. My, what a blustery day, she squeaked. Mouse tied a bonnet on her head. Morning, Mouse, said Mole. Are you all set to work on our bird books? I packed my sketch pad and crayons, said Mouse. I have binoculars too. Where should we look first? Mole rubbed his snout. Birds hide in bushes, he said. Let's try the huckleberry. Mouse looked to her left. Mole looked to his right. There were no birds in sight. Come out, come out, wherever you are, Mouse sang. Quiet, shushed Mole. Birds nest in trees, he whispered. 
Let's check under the pine. Mole peered up at the branches. A pine siskin, Mole pointed. Mouse looked through her binoculars. She did not see a pine siskin. Mouse giggled, that's a pine cone. Mole climbed the tree to get it. Spring is about starting anew, he chuckled. I am starting a new pine cone collection. Mole stuffed the pine cone in his pack. Where to now, Mouse wondered. Birds need water, said Mole. Let's go by the pond. Whoosh! A gust of wind blew Mole's hat off. He ran to pick it up. A cat bird, Mole pointed. Mouse looked through her binoculars. She did not see a cat bird. Don't be silly, Mole. Those are cat tails. Mouse plucked a daisy. She stuck it in her bonnet. April showers bring May flowers, Mouse sang. Mole took a whistle from his pocket. He blew into the end. Purdy, purdy, it called. Somewhere a bird sang. Purdy, purdy. Mouse spotted a red bird in the thicket. A cardinal, whispered Mouse. Mole got out his red crayon. They crept closer and closer. Crunch! Mole stepped on a dried leaf. The cardinal flew away. Rats, muttered Mole. He blew into the other end of the whistle. Her chicory, it called. Somewhere a bird sang, her chicory. Mouse spotted a small yellow bird in the grass. A goldfinch, whispered Mouse. Mole got out his yellow crayon. They crept closer and closer. Crack! Mole stepped on a twig. The goldfinch flew away. Double rats, muttered Mole. He found another whistle in his pack. Mole blew into the end. Quiddle, quiddle, it called. Somewhere a bird sang, quiddle, quiddle. Mouse spotted a large blue bird in the oak. A blue jay, whispered Mouse. Mole got out his blue crayon. They crept closer and closer. Splish, splash! Mole stepped in a puddle. The blue jay flew away. Fooey, grumped Mole. Birds must be afraid of mice. How will we ever get close enough to draw them? Mouse just shook her head. Mole sat down on the stoop. Mouse twirled her tail. Birds may be afraid of mice, Mouse began, or maybe they're afraid of moles, but birds are not afraid of birds. Mouse told Mole her plan. That is a crazy idea, chuckled Mole. Shall we begin in the morning? Mouse suggested, in the morning we begin, agreed Mole. Whoosh! A huge gust of wind blew Mole's hat into a tree. And that is the end of the first chapter of Mole and Mouse. We'll find out what happens next week. But I like what they're doing in the book, huh? They're going out to look for birds, and I think they've brought a sketchbook and some crayons, so maybe they can draw the birds that they see outside, which would be a really fun thing for you guys to do, don't you think? Ask your grown-up if you can go for a walk and bring some paper and some crayons and maybe draw what you see. I think that would be a lot of fun, okay? So it's time for a song. So we've been so busy singing new songs, singing the Five Green and Speckled so uh, Frogs, and then singing this little light of mine. We haven't sung our regular songs that we always sing every week. What is going on? I know, I'm like throwing a little change at you, but I know you can handle it. You're a resilient kid. So... What song do we need to sing? Roly poly, you got it. We always sing roly poly, right? So roly poly, put our hands like this and it has four verses. Are you ready? Roly poly, roly poly, up, 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 up. Roly, roly poly, roly, roly poly, down, down, down. Down, 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 roly poly, roly poly, out, 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 roly, roly poly, roly, roly poly, in, 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 roly poly, roly poly, loud, 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 loud. 
Rolly, rolly, poly. Rolly, rolly, poly. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Rolly, poly, rolly, poly. That's a fast. That's a fast. Rolly, rolly, poly. Rolly, rolly, poly. Slow, slow, slow. Slow, slow, slow. Good job. Good job with Roly Poly. It wouldn't be story time without Roly Poly. Let me just have a sip of water. Okay. All right. It's time for the song cue. It's over here. So I put some of our, uh, the big three, in the song cue just so we get the chance to sing those two, even though we're introducing some new songs. Ready? There goes the song cube. Oh, in case you're joining us for the first time, the way the song cube works is that we throw it up into the air and whichever song lands facing up is the song that we sing. Even if it's wheels on the bus, we still go with it. No complaints. Sorry, it went under the table here. If you're happy and you know it is the one that's facing up. Ready? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, shout hooray! Hooray! Here's the hard part. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, do all three. Ah, ah, stomp, stomp. Hooray! Woo! Good job, everybody. What do you think will come up on the song cube next? I don't know. I don't know. Ready? Ooh, ABCs. We haven't done that in a while. The ABCs, the alphabet song. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Do you think? that we can sing the ABCs so very, very quietly. Can you do that with me? Super quietly, as quiet as you can. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Now. Do you think we can sing it so quickly? So quickly, so quickly. Ready? Nobody's going to know what we're even singing because we're singing it so quickly. Ready? Big breath. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Woo! That was the fastest I have ever heard the ABCs sung. That was fantastic. Good job, everybody. Do we have time for more song cube? I think so. I think we have time for maybe two more song cube songs or one more and another song that I get to choose. Ready? Here's the song cube. What will it be? Ooh, zoom, 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 right? One of our big three, but we didn't sing it today, but I put it in the song cube so we can still sing it. Ready? So zoom, zoom, zoom has flat hands and three verses. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, 
Climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon in five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Fun, fun, fun. We're going to the sun. Fun, 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 we're going to the sun. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Fun, 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 we're going to the sun. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off! And now our third verse created by Jillian and Henry. Thank you, Jillian and Henry. Ready? Race, 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 we're going into space. Race, 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 we're going into space. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Race, 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 we're going into space. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Awesome, very nice. Just a sip of water. If you can come up with a verse for that song or for really any of the songs that we sing, I am so happy to incorporate new verses. Just put something in the comments or send me an email and we'll make that happen, okay? Um, so I know that my friend Gracie, who lives in Ohio, is watching and she loves the fish song that we've been singing um, lately. So I wanna make sure we get a chance to sing that today too, okay? So can you make a fish out of your hands? We take flat hands, put them together and use our thumbs for a fin. Can you do that? Ready? One little fish, she's swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. One little fish, she's swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. Two little fish, she's swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Two little fish, she's swimming in the water, bubble, 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 bubble pop. Three little fish, she's swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Three little fish, she's swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. Four little fish, she's swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Four little fish, she's swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. Five little fish, she's swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Five little fish, she's swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. Nice. We're going to stop at five, but if you're singing this song at home, you can keep going as high as you want, or you could add colors to the fishies. You know, one little red fish swimming in the water, one little blue fish. You can really personalize this song as much as you want, because it's a fun one, right? Okay, I think we have time for one more song cube. I know, I kind of sometimes just get going with the song cube and I find it hard to stop because it's pretty fun, right? Okay, one more song cube song and that one. It's ready. Ooh, it landed on the ABCs again, but I think we should try for something different. I don't think we need to sing the ABCs again, but I mean, it's a good song, but let's try something different. Ah, I should have stopped with ABCs. It's wheels on the bus. Okay, but those are the rules. Even if it's Wheels on the Bus, we still sing it. So we're just going to sing three verses of Wheels on the Bus. Okay, ready? The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. The doors on the bus go open and shut, open and shut. Open and shut, the doors on the bus go open and shut, all through the town. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town. All right, good job with Wheels on the Bus. Another song that you can sing at home and keep going as long as you want. There's so many verses. Okay, guys. We have read our stories, we have sung our songs, we introduced a couple new songs, so that's always fun. Um, plenty for you to sing at home. And I can't wait to see you back here next week, right? Come every Tuesday, come to story time, just like we were doing it in person. It's just, it's just online for now. Okay, are you ready for our goodbye song?
Get your hands ready. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Raise your hands up high. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Wave and say goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you for coming to Storytime. It's been so nice to see you. And I can't wait to see you again next week. Bye, everybody. Bye.